Hello everybody, it's me, it's me, it's DAB, the one and only, and welcome back to the Sonic Adventure 2 LP with the group Name 3. Oh, oh we actually have an official name now? Yep, we're now Name 3. Hi, I'm Gamecaster, and you're watching DAB, only on YouTube. Uh, I, close I can get is Dungeon. Yeah, and guys, we're here in Pumpkin Hill. Wait, 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 hold on. Storm against the wall. There we go. Toss that little robot. The British people that watch this oh, are going to be really go, Brian. upset about you that. Get joke. Your <laughs> <laughs> uh, Brian, you get your JoJo reference now. Oh, that's right. Yeah, the best part of this game. You actually said it made you hate JoJo a little bit. I know, but it's still the best part of this game. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying I recall you saying it made you hate JoJo's Bizarre Adventure more than it made you love this game. Yeah, I know. Which tells you how bad this game is. Mm, I think it's the opposite. How dare you speak ill of JoJo in front of our holy lord Dio. Hi Dio. <laughs> Brian has like a Dio waifu figure. Listen, he's not a waifu. He's a I'm not worthy enough to be his waifu. He is more a waifu than a husbando, let's be real here. No, Josuke is the husbando. Look at him in his you know, school uniform. Yeah. Why is no one mentioning the best out of the three? Oh yes, Hatsune Miku. Thank you, Hatsune Miku. <laughs> the actual waifu one. Eh, oh, uh, do you no, guys? That's personal reasoning. Do you Hatsune guys... Miku's a doer, not a dater. <laughs> okay, do you guys want to tell the story of why you have the Miku? Uh, I will let Steven tell this story. Uh, Wait, like, I please do. Wanna, we... No, I don't no. want to be that big of a jerk. No, on. tell the story because it's amazing. Because the guy was an asshole. He was. Uh, he was, but so were we. So... Yes, but you know, one good turn I mean... deserves another. <laughs> If you want me to tell the story, go I'll ahead. Tell it. Okay, you tell it. <laughs> so we're at a convention. Uh, this was what, like 2016, 2017, at a rather well-known uh, hotel that has a lot to do about pools, and that's a lot more I'm going to reveal about it, so we don't kind of give away a location uh, where we might kind of be. But uh, this, we, we went into, they have a big arcade there full of a bunch of Japanese cabinets and things like that. And they had some of the, the UFO style claw games. And uh, we're sitting there and we tried the claw game like I think twice and we're like, wow, this is kind of awkward compared to like a normal claw game. And this guy, he was like, yeah, you have to wait and look at the angle of where the arm comes in. And that's exactly where it pinches. He's like, I've been sitting here waiting for 20 minutes or so. For people to knock this Hatsune Miku figure loose, I can just win it when they leave and don't get anything. I turned to Steven slowly. We haven't spent any of our tokens yet. We, we thought, literally looked at each other at the same time. Yeah. Like, this was the this. mind melting. <laughs> and I was like, oh, we know exactly what we're doing. And we just sat there and poured every last coin we had in this arcade but into this thing. It gets better because we used up all of our coins. And then we literally looked at each other, and as I was using like my last three coins, I hand, did I hand you a ten dollar. You handed me like a ten or a twenty. Yeah, it was it was a good chunk of money, and I was like, "Go get more. I'm gonna keep playing." Yeah. <laughs> and I came back with the money, and we won the thing. And the guy <laughs> sat there and stared at us like, "You people are monsters." <laughs> this guy who was just like waiting for people. To win him this prize, essentially, you just knock it loose and loose and loose, and he's like, and then it's gonna be my turn. <laughs> like, no, asshole. <laughs> and we walked away with the Hatsune Miku figure, and uh, it belongs to us this day, to this day. And I don't know why we still have a Hatsune Miku figure because <laughs> the uh, only it's... one of the group that likes Hatsune Miku is AJ. He likes it because it's a rhythm game, and that's it. He doesn't give a piss about Hatsune Miku. Oh yeah, he doesn't know anything about Vocaloid. Um, it's am... more to keep for... to prove a point. It's like, a trophy. Yeah, it's yeah, it yeah, is a, it's, it's literally a trophy, a trophy waifu. <laughs> yeah. You know what, you're right. Fire the missile at Oma Chow. I'm just trying to figure out where the damn emerald is. I'm just trying to figure out why that hat's so fat. You gotta go up. Maybe got fat. Well, no, I was already at the very top and I wasn't finding it. <sighs> Steven, I'm gonna use a hint. Don't do it. I'm already not A-ranking. There's one. Haha! <laughs> Take oh. that, asshole! Okay, so, no, I mean, that's actually a pretty useful hand. He says that now. Probably over here. Nope. In the grave. That does happen. Spooky. Where could be this gem world that I did see? 
Can you help me guess this mystery? I don't remember what show that's from. I've never heard that. Oh my god, no, I, I know that's from a show and I'm trying to think of what it is now. Okay, so I really do think it's because of the, uh... Fucking, uh... HDMI? Government. No, the HDMI on the capture device. That thing, the shadows? Yeah, because this game is not normally this dark. Yeah, I was gonna say it's actually... It might it's be... It's a little odd. But... What the hell, man? Uh, oh, oh, oh! Is it on the frame? No. We gotta go. Yeah, it's on the cliff. It's, it's a fucking oil drum. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would have been so beautiful. Knuckle! Oh, God damn it! Parents, you nipples the enchilada. Knuckles. I just wanna glide, Jesus. bruh! I just wanna glide, bruh! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well. Which makes this the most non-beast thing I can think of now. <laughs> Man. Wait, actually, you know what? If there was DLC for, like, 90s games, could we get Knuckles a visor? Okay, so I'm just gonna throw oh, so the... I just... First off, bad. he gets a visor. Yeah, one of his upgrades is a visor. Oh, no, like, I was thinking, like, a Cyclops visor, not, like, the fucking hat. Yeah, I'm thinking, like, okay, the, the, I really the, the atypical, like, car dealer hat. Okay, also, yeah. I just realized that he proved Homer wrong now. What do you mean? Because the whole, you can run, but you can't glide. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but I just wanted to throw this out there, like, if 90s games had DLC, um, Dreamcast games had DLC. Did they really? Yes! I did not know that. There was other songs for Samba de Amigo, there was, uh, level things, um, Space Channel, or not Space Channel 5, Fantasy Star had DLC. Okay, I can believe that one. Oh, yeah, Fantasy yeah, Star oh, makes yeah. perfect sense to have it. Yeah. Um, I, I guess it's just weird, because it, it, it's right at that apex of having internet on a system. As I said... My, my biggest gripe in the world is the Dreamcast. Oh, I did not. Everyone love loves the Dreamcast, but also 90% of these people have never played the Dreamcast. Oh, there's Force, there's Force Scarecrow Bros. Sorry, bro. Okay, I'm at the Scarecrow Brothers. Oh, I thought the, you killed them, with you It said the three Scarecrow Brothers, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I gotta find three Scarecrows. One, two, three, two. Uh! Two. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna glide around. Gliding around at the speed of sound. Are you getting closer by going down? Yeah, probably. Once that's it down here, let's go for the others. Keep going back to your left. Ah, there's a Skeleton Laden. Yeah. Skella Ben Laden. And it sure does sound like a Jeff Dunn joke. He died on May 11th. Oh, wait, it is a Jeff Dunn joke. It basically is. Yeah. It's close. Oh, there we go. I'm sorry that we made a De Jeff Dunn joke. I thought we were better than this. That's it. You get the elephant. What? Talking shit about Jeff Dunham? No, no, for making the joke. <laughs> um, no, so you that, can talk that, shit that's about, right. That's fair. You can talk shit about Jeff Dunham all you want. He's fucking terrible. But come on, he had the HBO stand-up like tough. 20 years ago that people thought was funny and imaginative. And they decided that, that deserved a TV show for some fucking reason. You remember the period after like Chappelle's show was so fucking good that Comedy Central thought every stand-up comedian should have a show and none of them were good after Chappelle's show? Oh, you mean hey. Dimitri Martin wasn't hilarious? I you know what? Liked... Actually, Dimitri Martin did have a funny show. I'm not. I like Dimitri Martin's stand up. I hated I his show. I did not like his fucking the graph chart thing that he just used over and over. I, I thought he was amusing. But I was like, I I'll put it like this too. I watched Dimitri Martin's show sparingly, so it probably just didn't get old to me. Okay, the one that bothered me the most, and I think it was on MTV, and I feel blasphemous. For Mind saying, of Mencia. No, no, no. That was also, <laughs> that was also on Comedy Central. Um, Terrible. But it wasn't named after him, but it was Bo Burnham's show. But he was playing a character. He wasn't playing a fictionalized version of himself. But it was bad, and I love Bo Burnham. Bo is yeah. pretty great. But I, I think he wrote that show, too. Because I think the only show he did was something he wrote. Uh, like, acting-wise, like that. 
Take that, the moon. moon! Okay, so by the way, this becomes a thing later because in Shadow the Hedgehog, the moon is perfectly fine. I mean, he just destroyed the ocean tide. Yeah, but they use the the Millennium Falcon to go back oh, in this time. Oh, the Saiyans transform ever again! This story is actually way shorter than I realized. Holy crap. Yeah, Maybe we will yeah it's pretty fast. Dark playthrough tonight. I mean, I'm down if you guys are. You know I am. I'm not got anything to God, do. God, are we gonna record all of fucking Sonic Adventure 2 in one day? God, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, Rhino, is your favorite character to sit through in Sonic Adventure 1, Amy. Oh, yeah, that's true. She was like three parts long and felt like 15. Yeah. <laughs> No, my favorite part was Big the Cat. I know, because you had fun with Big. Amy, That's because Big is actually good. Big, Big was more fun to play than Amy. Yeah, Big the Cat, like, let's talk OG Sonic characters that should make a comeback and have their own game. Like, I don't even give a shit. Where is my Big the Cat, Big Bass fishing game? Dude, so do you remember the Sonic toys that came out, like, around this time, too? Like, they each had, like, their own little rings and everything, and... You yes. were looking at the wrong person for that, because I gave Well, I'm actually looking at, at Austin. Yes, I, I do. Anyways, yeah, Big the Cat was the first one I got, and I just loved it ever since I then. know, but that's still setting the bar kind of low for you. Eh, I'm a low bar kind of guy. <laughs> a T-bar kind of guy? That's the low bar if you watch wrestling now. I was like, how dare you make a retribution joke in our friend? Because if you're gonna talk... Because if you're talking about a low bar, there's not much lower bar than retribution. There isn't, but, I mean, I, I guess you didn't call him Slapjack. Also, FGR versus, uh, Young Bucks. Motor, Motor City Machine Guns? Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. You know the best thing is, because of my upload schedule, there's a very real chance it'll happen by the time this fucking yeah. goes up. So there's so many matches I would love from that coupling that supposedly Whee! might not be in the works, but I, I would love to be pleasantly surprised. Like? Um, I would it, okay, it's gonna sound weird because it's oh yeah, it's an older wrestler. Uh he gets a booster seat because I, he's so I would love to see something like Jake Hager versus Ken Shamrock. Make it a shoot fight and watch Jake get his shit pushed in. No, not anymore. Ken Ken cannot go MMA anymore. Okay, you tell him that because I ain't gonna. Who Ken Shamrock? Yeah. Oh I I could watch his last like eight fights and tell him that. I think he might agree. He hasn't done shit in his life. <laughs> I just picture that bit from Family Guy, but it was, I'll give you that one, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Joe. Oh. Oh. Well, let's talk about Loki, bad character in Family Guy, because his joke is just being understated. Oh, shit. What was that thing that you just showed me the other day, Brian? About um, all the people doing things in different voices, and Joe's voice is one of them. Oh, fuck! Yeah, I know I exactly can't. what it is, and Austin is to blame for this, and he's gonna hate this reference. It gets brought up. I kid you not. He turns himself into. A <laughs> <friend>. <laughs> oh god, damn it! I like this name's Pickle Rick. Funniest <laughs> shit I've ever <laughs> seen. <laughs> I was I, like, I don't know why it became a, a big meme, but it did. <laughs> yeah, uh, you, you, you just kept sending me shit like Bayonetta's voice Bayonetta actors. saying it. <laughs> oh, you motherfuckers! So it's Loki, what like the hell? Best yeah, voice really actor out there besides uh, oh, sex millionaire armadillo or whatever his name is. What? You gotta go around. So it's because he's not allowed to use his real name in. Uh, doing DBZA a bridge, but it's a Mr. Travis Willingham, who did a couple of voices in the show, but he is not allowed to use his real name because of- Funimation. Sort of, yeah. You can go ahead and say it, we're not contracted to- Yeah, that's Nothing true. gonna come down, or? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. You can write yeah, it for a short he, uh, he, he gets credited no. oh, as like, Armadillo, Armadillo Sex Millionaire or something stupid. And I so know it's a name he came up with himself and is very proud of. I love Travis Willingham. Travis Willingham's great. It's still he the thing I like talking about whenever anybody brings up uh, Sean Schemmel, is I'm like, ask him to say Muffin Button, he loves it. Yeah. He's not a whole whack. What were you saying, Steve? I didn't say anything. I thought he said something. Yeah, no. Uh, Sean no. Schemmel. Uh, let's talk about Worst Goku. Jesus, Brian. <laughs> He's Worst Goku! <laughs> I will take 
I, I will take the woman who does a nine-year-old Japanese voice over Sean Schimmel. Kirby, who is now sadly passed, I would have taken him. He was great. Whoa, as whoa, whoa! Kirby died. Yes. Oh. Um, I, I never really ate played this air ride game. The guy who uh, <laughs> voiced him with the ocean dub, who was like the voice of Cheetor in Beast Wars. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he he passed. And better go, better voice of Goku, and that's really hard to say because he also voiced Scott Summers, and I hate also, Scott really Summers. Also, what was the name of the white liger? Um, uh, liger Zero. Are you talking in Beast Wars? Yeah. Oh. He wasn't a Liger, but he, he was a White Tiger. No, he was a White Tiger. Um, was his name like Tigrex? It was. I don't remember. Because, oh, uh, uh, not, not his, his girlfriend I was, was just... Air Razor, I remember that. Tigertron, that was his name. That's oh. Good old Tigertron. Yeah, not Tigertron, he was Tigatron. Wow, they, they were. Pretty... And then, like, um. His spark and Air Razors like merged into not Silver Bolt, Tiger Hawk, because that name was even lazier. Yeah. The you know, Silver Bolt dated uh Black Arachnid. Yeah. Can we talk about how much shipping cannon was in Beast Wars right now? And Beast it's, Machines. Yeah, that's that starting to really confuse me. Because Black Arachnia was like, it's I my husband. I just didn't care. I was uh, uh, really gonna say, but I'll... I know I knew it was coming <laughs> and I'm like, just go. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, no. Thanks. We are peeking so hard over here. Good. But yeah, no. Can, can, can you, do you remember that? That Black Arachnia in Beast Machines was like, it's my husbando, and it was Waspinator? Yeah, and she got super pissed about it. Wouldn't you? Yes. Well, no, they were all Scott McNeil's. So who cares? Oh, Scott McNeil's so dreamy. You keep that in. <laughs> I wasn't deleting it. I'm sending it to Scott. <laughs> Like, oh, this fat kid who sends me fan mail oh. all the time. <laughs> okay, so I'm thinking this is now going to become a trend because it's the second time I've done it, and I'm gonna do it again. Uh, I'm gonna cut the part on a Knuckles level. And that's gonna be all for this part, so thank you for watching, everybody. Until next time.